All right, to uh, any of you wrestling fans out there who still give a shit about me making videos here on YouTube, um, sorry, this is not a wrestling-related video, so I'm just going to talk about this. I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably not too long. I just have a couple thoughts that probably are already said. This is involving the SNES Classic that Nintendo is releasing later this year. At a retail price of $80, which includes 21 games, I believe. I have the list right here of all the games that it's going to uh, it's going to possess. It is going to possess Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country. Can't go wrong with that. My favorite game on the Super Nintendo. Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Qu Kirby's Dream Course. That's a good game. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, probably the best Zelda game released other than its predecessor or the the, fo the following one, which was called Breath of the Wild, which pretty much took from Link to the Past. That's always been my style of Legend of Zelda. Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, the unreleased version of Star Fox 2. Super Street Fighter, no, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, awesome game. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, great game, Super Metroid, great game, Super Punch-Out, and Yoshi's Island. It's got a array of good games that I would invest my time in that I would like to revisit. However, however, we have seen something of this sorts once before last year called the NES Classic. Now, I know what people are going to say. The NES Classic, the reason why I'm comparing the two is when the NES Classic first came out, yes, it was supposed to be theoretically a limited supply, and Nintendo was very surprised at the uh, instant success of the system. And so they decided to release a few more units, and then just completely discontinue the product. My only thing is that I feel they're going to probably do the same thing for the Super NES Classic. Because it seems as though Nintendo thrives on its rarity in systems. And the same could be said for the NES Classic. I don't know the reason for why they would discontinue a product that was apparently doing so well unless they were trying to really focus on the Nintendo Switch that just came out. But I don't think Nintendo realizes that when this system first releases, if they do the whole limited quantity again, then they do realize that the NES Classic, or the Super NES Classic, is going to fall under the same guise as the NES Classic, which is a bunch of scalpers are going to go and buy up all the stock, or buy as much stock as they possibly can, and then sell what, in this case is an $80 uh, device and sell it for probably $300. That's what they're going to do. That's what scalpers do. It's the same thing with Comic-Con. Comic-Con has come up with this elaborate scheme where, oh, you got to be signed on to our website via email, and then you'll be on will call. Doesn't mean shit. I could still go on StubHub and get a ticket of Comic-Con. Granted, a $50 ticket now becomes $170, but you could still get it. Scalpers are always there to literally rape anybody of their earnings so that they can make an easy profit. And I think they're going to do the same thing here with the SNES Classic, which is unfortunate because I have the NES Classic. Um, I was able to have a connection, so to speak, give it to me for free. They bought it. They gave it to me for free for my birthday. However, I may not have that same luxury with the Super NES Classic. And that's a shame because I grew up with Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, and I figured that the Super Nintendo uh, Classic, the SNES Classic, I would have more uh, fond memories of and affiliation with because the games that I just listed are some of the best games that I grew up with. And I just feel that it's unfortunate that this is where I think it's going to go. I think... It's going to be a hard-to-find system, just like the NES Classic. And if you do find it online and somebody's selling it, they're going to sell for an astronomical price. I would hope that's not the case, but I do think that's what's going to happen. 
and they're just gonna do the same thing release a few more units and then discontinue that to make it a rarity item so that you can I don't know hold on to it and gain value out of the system I don't know me personally I want to enjoy the video games that I buy I don't want to have to keep them packaged and then oh my god hope that it's worth something someday I understand that I have a couple of wrestling action figures that are still packaged that are apparently worth hundreds of dollars but for video games I don't wish to do that I want to enjoy what they have to offer and so far the SNES classic is not doing anything to convince me that they are going to have a good amount of stock so that I have to I can buy it from a retail store as opposed to a scalper who's going to want to charge me exorbitant amount of money for it. So that's all I got to say. I hope the SNES Classic does well, and I hope I can get a copy for myself at retail price. So what do you guys think?